All right, everybody, here we go. This is episode one of the Hobby Case Chronicles. I'm going to rip one box per day. I got 12 hobby boxes, a sealed case from Tops. So, like I said, one box per day, and we're going to see what a sealed case gets you, essentially. Um, I've never bought a sealed hobby case before. I have bought sealed jumbos, jumbo cases. Um, and I've had pretty mixed results with them. Um, I had one jumbo case that was absolutely incredible, and I had one that was so bad it made me never want to buy a jumbo case ever again. But these um, regular hobby boxes, I don't know, typically what I've seen from pr prior years, I haven't watched this year's hobby case breaks, Typically, they're pretty comparable. I would say the Jumbos offer more upside for numbered parallels, but I opened a Jumbo um, on the channel, and it, it wasn't, like, I didn't get a lot of numbered cards. I got one numbered parallel in the whole Jumbo box, the first one. So, you know, we'll see. I mean, the, the, the reason that Jumbos are, in my opinion, the best bang for your buck usually is because of the guaranteed auto, um, but we'll see how many autos come out of this case. And let's get right into it. I also did not pull, for somehow, a single base Ellie De La Cruz or Jason Dominguez in my uh, one jumbo that I've opened that I opened so far. I'll fly through the base. Try to keep this video relatively short. There's a first uh, insert, Felix Bautista. Yeah, I don't know how I didn't pull even a single base. There's my first Encarnacion Strand. Didn't pull him either. Base pack there. Curious to see how many base packs are in hobby boxes as well. Got an insert in this one. That's going to be Pete Alonzo. Pulled a few of these in the jumbo, including an Ellie De La Cruz. It's a cool insert. Another base pack. Not great. I'm actually kind of wondering if retail might be the way to go with Series 1. Kind of curious about that. Especially um, hanger boxes. I've had great luck with hangers over the years. Here's our first turned around card. It's going to be Mark Vientos on the rainbow foil. Second year for Vientos. Not sure about Vientos. I'm a Mets fan. I'm not a huge Vientos guy. I think he's okay. But not anybody I'm real excited to collect a bunch of his cards. That's for sure. Here's our first 89, Tony Gwynn. That's cool. get something worthy for the stand, huh? There's a Shohei and Mookie. Boy, a lot of base packs in here already. Here's an 89 Shohei. Nice. Since I don't know what I'm going to get in this box, let's Let's throw him up there. I saw that the, if you guys didn't see the Shohei Silver Pack version of that card, one of one autograph was pulled on release day. So that is, you will not see that one come out. Pretty big hit for whoever, another base pack. Pretty big hit for whoever pulled that. I mean, that is a crazy pull. If you're going to pull a one of one, I mean, you either want it to be a top rookie or a top name, and there's no bigger name than Shohei. And we did get a patch, unfortunately, instead of an auto. It's going to be player-worn, Hunter Green, Major League material. Hunter Green's a really solid pitcher for the Reds. There he is again. Tons of upside, cannon, cannon arm, throws super hard. 
high-end strikeout potential. There's Mike Trout base. Grand Gamers, Buster Posey. Eighty nine Barry Larkin. They did a good job with these. They look really cool. I actually like them better than uh, last year's eighty eights and eighty sevens. I'm just tired of eighty seven in general. It's just so overused. If they take a break with it and bring it back, there's Evan Carter. If they took a break and brought it back, I think I'd be fine with it again. But there's another eighty nine Nolan Arenado. Grayson Rodriguez, Future Stars. We are running low on packs already. This is not. This box has not been. We have no numbered cards so far. One rainbow. Let's hope we get. All right, we got something turned around in here. Let's try to turn this thing around. There's a celebration of the kid, Griffey. That's a great picture there. Turned around card is going to be Connor Wong, and that is another rainbow. So our second rainbow foil. Dalton Barsho and Canzone. So if if you watched my jumbo video, you get five rainbows and five, it's probably not exact in every box, but I got five rainbow foils and five gold jumbo exclusive foils out of there. So, so far, um, we're not even close to Sal Frelick, uh, Frelick, rookie card, greatest hits. He's an interesting player. There's Corbin's cup card. Okay, we have five packs left and then the silver pack. There's my boy Zach Geloff, one of the rookies I like in this set. A ton of base packs, not a single numbered card. This is crazy. Emerson Hancock. We have Ellie. His. Oh, it's a home. Okay. Boom. Let's go. Case hit Ellie De La Cruz. Home field advantage. Look at that design. Wow. These are awesome design this year. Look at that card. Ellie De La Cruz, baby. I was about to go in on this box on how bad it was. <laughs> I'll put him on the stand in a minute. Um, wow, what a pull that was. Just want to be careful here. And Although me dropping Ellie on YouTube would make for good comedy for you. I would cry. That is a monster. Awesome card. Riley Green, Future Stars. I don't care what happens now. <laughs> There's only a couple packs left. Grand Gamers, Clayton Kershaw. Two packs left. I am so pumped about that. That is awesome. I pulled Corbins last year. I got so lucky to pull Corbins. I thought there was no chance... I mean, the home field advantage don't sell like downtowns for football, unfortunately. But Ellie's has got to still be a, a really nice, valuable card. There's Dominguez, finally. A base Dominguez. I'm not going to put him on the stand because I'm just going to assume we're going to get something good on the silver pack. Another base pack. So here's the last pack of the box. Yoshida, cup card. Pete Alonzo, 89. So not a single numbered card in this box. Like I said, I don't care because of that Ellie. Um, but that's very weird. I, I don't know that I've, in, in my life, I do not know that I've opened a hobby box and not pulled a number card in my entire life. I don't think I've, I've done it. That's, it really is crazy. Unless I missed something, but I, I, they're usually turned around and I didn't see any different borders or anything. All right, Silver Pack. That's a cool shot of Ichiro there. Oh, we got a purple in here. 
So the purples are number two. I do not remember offhand. I think it's like to 199, 150, 250. It's a higher number. It's not a uh, low number. Willie Mays. Sal Freelich, rookie card. That's nice. And the purple is going to be a brewer. That is Christian Yelich. Let's see what that's number two. Oh, 75. Never mind. I'm stupid. I know greens are to 99. I couldn't remember what uh, purples were, but you can see it there. Number to 75 hit. So the hobby box was looking brutal um, until this Ellie De La Cruz came out. So home field advantage Ellie is just awesome pull. So this is episode one of the sealed case. Um, make sure to subscribe if you want to watch, you know, this whole case get broken because I'm going to be opening, like I said, one box per day. Thanks for watching, guys.